mark our signs, ourselves with the sign of God's love for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. So you continue to ask for our Lady's perpetual help in the intercession of St. Patrick and the great saints, Margaret and Gertrude. Let's ask that those gifts that have been given to each one of us may be put forward that the kingdom of God may grow on earth. We call to mind our sins. The times that we have failed to pray both for those who have passed before us and those who still need our help in this life for the remnants of their sins. Brothers and sisters in Christ, as children of our Blessed Mother, we've gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all of our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity? We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May you always live as your truly devoted children. In our novena prayer, Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our Mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you're on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your Son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials, sometimes the most precious to the ground. Dearest Mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God, to make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. To help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You have always loved others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, lighten the burden of the oppressed, peace justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended. Dear Mother, help us to avoid sin separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. We will trust in you and place ourselves in the mantle of your eternal protection and confidently hope for your powerful help. Amen. In the prayer for our homes, Mother of Perpetual Help, 
We choose you as the queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender and motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents that they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them an example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially trust you today. And give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part, making our home a haven of peace. Like your own home at Nazareth, we take you as our model. Help us to grow daily the genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Let us pray. God, who prepared a delightful dwelling for yourself in the heart of the Virgin St. Gertrude, we graciously bring light through her intercession to the darkness of our hearts, that we may joyfully experience you present at work within us. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the union of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, had a vision of an open door to heaven, and I heard the trumpet-like voice that had spoken to me before, saying, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen afterwards. At once, I was caught up in the spirit. A throne was there in heaven, and on the throne sat one, whose appearance sparkled like jasper and carnelian. Around the throne was a halo as brilliant as an emerald. Surrounding the throne, I saw 24 other thrones, on which 24 elders sat, dressed in white garments and with gold crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, rumblings and peals of thunder. Seven flaming torches burn in front of the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. In front of the throne was something that resembled a sea of glass, like crystal. In the center and around the throne, there were four living creatures, covered with eyes in front and in back. The first creature resembled a lion. The second was like a calf. The third had the face like that of a man, and the fourth looked like an eagle in flight. The four living creatures, each of them with six wings, were covered with eyes inside and out. Day and night they do not stop exclaiming, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to the one who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before the one who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They throw down their crowns before the throne, exclaiming, Worthy are you, Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things. Because of your will, they came to be and were created. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise the Lord in the sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds, 
Praise Him for His sovereign majesty. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise Him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise Him with lyre and harp. Praise Him with timbrel and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipe. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise Him with sounding cymbals. Praise Him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia.
You knew I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down, and harvesting what I did not plant. Jesus is a very demanding king. The Lord lets it be known quite blatantly, both to the wicked servant who hid the old coin and handkerchief, and to the fellow citizens who despised him and did not want Jesus to be king. The Lord tells his disciples, there is no room for excuses. We must each build up the kingdom, no matter what size gift we have been entrusted with. What is that line? I take up what I do not lay down, and I harvest what I do not plant. Well, the church fathers believe this is tied up with his going off to that distant country to obtain the kingship. How Jesus will go down to hell when he dies, so as to take up all the good souls who would have him as their king. A beautiful reference to what God will be doing for three days when we see his body in the tomb. Jesus will be harvesting souls that he did not plant, but the prophets did. So it's only natural that upon returning after obtaining the kingship, that he calls his disciples to learn what they had been doing by trading while he was gone. I see here both a reference to how we are not to worry so much about the dead, and how we are to worry so much more about the living. When someone dies, yes, we celebrate their funeral mass, Yes, we ought to forgive them all their sins against us, lest we held them bound and they never enter heaven. Yes, we ought to make reparations for their sins. And we ought to work the plenary indulgence for them should the opportunity arise. But the Lord will ultimately take care of our beloved dead. But what we take care of our focus ought to be with great attention on the living in this world, whom we have been given the stewardship of, spouse, children, neighbor, enemy, co-worker, friend. The more souls we have been given care of, the more God expects of us. In the harvest of the good and the taking up into glory. St. Patrick, pray for us. St. Gertrude, pray for us. St. Margaret, pray for us. Our Lady Perpetual Help. Call to our lady with all our petitions. <laughs> Holy Mary, Pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceived without sin, Pray for us. our Mother perpetual help. Pray for us. We sinners call to you. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Love that we may be more and more like our divine Lord as you were. We may be meek and humble of heart, like your Son, Jesus. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by our unrepentant sin. That 
we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of our daily life. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in our moments of temptation. That we may realize the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. That we may grow in our love of Christ and neighbor by our frequent spiritual communions. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. That we may strive to be true Catholics by our loving concern for others. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. That we may see the evil of seeing our own interests at the expense of others. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. That we may share our talents with others for the good of this church community. That we may accept our responsibility in this church community in a spirit of genuine service. To pray that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. That we would be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who still do not know him. That we may be aware of our dependence on God, even in the midst of our human achievements. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. That we would die at peace with Christ and our fellow men. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. To pray that our departed brothers and sisters would quickly share in your son's resurrection. Pray especially for our beloved dead at this Mass, for Sabra Garten, Marianne Cardot, and all who have passed since last November 1st. Jerome Lauer, Mary Helen Leffelman, Lisa Becker, Marcella Pry, Jean Grieg, Dolores DeGroote, Charles Keeble, Dorothy Tobiaski, Richard Carda, Barbara Howard, Wanda Bresson, Anna Elizabeth Prendergast, Daryl Farrar, Thomas Corzin, James Jones. All written in our book of remembrance. Eternal rest granted to them, O Lord, that perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. May Sabra soul and Mary Ann Carter soul, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. We always pray for that uh, baby that we spiritually adopted, and so we call out, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I love you very much. Beg you to spare the life of Jesus, the unborn baby that I have spiritually adopted, was in danger of abortion. Amen. We had our own petitions in the silence of our heart. We ask Our Lady to help us to use the gifts that the Lord our God has given us to uh, perpetually propagate the love of Jesus Christ, her Son, in our world today. So we call out, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, help us in our needs. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience your perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs.
Blessed are you, O God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the body, man, work with human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the Lord's for the praise and glory of His name, for our good, the good of all His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of Your Majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to You and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and true God. For even though by our own fault we perish, yet by your compassion and your grace, when seized by death according to our sins, we are redeemed through Christ's great victory, and with him, Call back into life. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Heights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. Sending down the Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of Save us, Savior of the world, 
for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your, in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servants, especially Sabra Gardner, Mary Ann Carnac, Jerome Lauer, Mary Helen Letherman, Lisa Becker, Marcella Pry, Jean Greek, Dolores DeBrew, Charles Keeble, Dorothy Tobiaski. Richard Carta, Barbara Howard, Wanda Bresson, Anna Elizabeth Prendergast, Daryl Farrar, Thomas Corzin, and James Jones. Lord, you have called them from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command that informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to the cross of us. To the rest, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. The kingdom of the power and the glory of the earth, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on your sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Let of God, and take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, To be near God is my happiness, to place my hope in God the Lord. We'll pray our spiritual communion prayer, especially for those mentioned in our book of remembrance. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. 
老天公公对我起来，他让我满手，真早在地沟第二天里，可那那我是在困难里，他也是 calmly secure into the heart， so you are already in the heart， help us to embrace， and unite ourselves wholly to you， permit that we should ever be separated。Now we'll pray our prayer of gratitude. My Jesus, I love and adore you. You've come to me. I am one with you. I want you to remain with me forever, this life and in the next. Thank you for allowing me to share your divine life and become more like you through the sacred food. Let me never take you for granted, but always pray for those whose lives are dark sin and ignorance and selfishness. Let me remember the words of St. Paul, that there but for the grace of God go I. Each day I can become more like you, Lord, and each day I can pray for those who have never heard of your presence in the universe, or who have heard it 
and rejected. We'll pray our prayer of consecration to Mary. Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Mother of the Church, you are also our Mother of Perpetual Health. With hearts full of love for you, we consecrate ourselves to your Immaculate Heart, so that we may be your devoted children. Obtain for us true sorrow for our sins and fidelity to the promises of our baptism. We consecrate our minds and hearts to you, that we may always do the will of our Heavenly Father. We consecrate our lives to you, that we may love God better, and not only for ourselves, but for Christ your Son, that we may see Him and serve Him in others. By this humble act of consecration, dear Mother of Perpetual Help, we pledge to model our lives on you, a perfect Christian, so that, consecrated to you in life and in death, we may belong to your divine Son for all eternity. In our prayer of thanksgiving. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and do penance for them. Through you, Thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession, and especially through this novena, inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and her perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. The most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honored, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Pray for the sick of our family and especially for our church community members. Lord Jesus Christ, who bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience, graciously hear our prayers for the sick. Grant that those who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions and illnesses may realize that they are among the chosen ones whom you call blessed. Help them to understand that they are united with you in your sufferings for the salvation of the world. Amen. We'll pray to our patron of happy death, St. Joseph. O blessed Joseph, who died in the arms of Jesus and Mary, obtain for me, I beseech you, the grace of happy death. In that hour of dread and anguish, assist me by your presence and protect me by your power against the enemies of my salvation. Into your sacred hands, living and dying, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I commend my soul. Amen. Now let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring the Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just remember, we'll be up here uh, again tomorrow. Uh, we'll be at 845 Mass, a little bit different. Uh, so, uh, so I have the 730 Mass in West Brooklyn. It'll take me a while to get out here uh, to Maytown a little bit further. So we'll start at 830, and we will have uh, a Eucharistic adoration uh, for an hour of a holy hour after the Mass tomorrow at 8.45 at the start. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Direct these your people, Mary's servants, O Lord, we pray, with heavenly instructions that they would avoid every evil, pursue all that is good, and may earn not your anger at their judgment, but 
at your unending mercy as they hear the words they long to hear from your lips. Well done, my good and faithful servant. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ to love and serve our Lord. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him and humbly pray. And thou, o Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan 